Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another reading for you guys. This is going to be specifically for those that are single. So those of you guys that are single and are interested in finding love or wanting to know when love will be knocking on your door, <laughs> then this reading is for you. We're going to look at the current influences or blockages as well as look into what's coming or unfolding before you with opportunities of love and romance. So as you guys can see here, we've already set uh, each set. We have four sets here. Set number one, which is the circle. Set number two, the flower. Set number three, the star with the moon. And set number four, the angel. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so that you guys can tune into your energy. Uh, this is going to be... Um, energetically being pulled towards you so let's begin go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths in through the nose out through the mouth so that you can ground yourself and tune into the energy see which one you're being pulled towards okay let's begin Spirits, we ask you to be present here now. Please hear our calling. I ask you to guide each one of the viewers uh, to be pulled towards a specific set of cards that's going to speak to them directly about their love life and romance. So go ahead and continue taking deep breaths. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And go ahead and make your choosing. Hey, those of you guys that chose set number one with the circle, let's begin your reading. Let's see what spirit has here for you guys, okay? All right, my lovelies. So those of you guys that chose set number one, we have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups speaks to me about a situation where perhaps you're feeling a little bit bored, perhaps not finding, uh, not really being pulled towards anyone or not really much of an interest for those that come into your life. The Four of Cups can also represent focusing primarily on situations that are long gone so what i mean by that is for some of you guys you could still be dealing with exes with others of you you may still be currently dealing with toxic type of energy as we do have the seven of swords so you've been given an opportunity often more than once to partners or people that are in your um that you're emotionally invested or emotionally connected to and somehow you end up feeling like you were taken for granted or like they weren't reciprocating. Uh, with the Seven of Swords, a lot of, you know, sneaky people being pulled towards manipulative type of energy as we do have the Devil card here. But the positive of the Devil card is that it does also signify uh, being able to get to a point where you understand this about yourself and you're still trying to go through those murky waters but um but there is potential to be able to pull away from that toxic energy or you know perhaps there is specific people that you are very attracted to or that you're pulled towards unfortunately they happen to be like i said a bit manipulators a bit um people that really don't you know it's all about me it's selfish type of energy um, but like I said, I feel that the devil card here is being reversed. So it speaks about pulling away from that or walking away from those situations. Yes, you're still currently going through it because I do have the eight of swords. So there is been, for some of you guys, you have been broken up um, for quite a while. Some of you guys, you know, even years and it, it almost you know, you kind of feel stuck in that department, in the department of love and romance. But it has a lot to do with, because you're fearful, and I completely understand, sometimes, uh, you know, we try to move on, we try to give others opportunities, 
And the moment we start seeing red flags is the moment that we kind of go back to that feeling of here we go again type of energy. So what do you do? You guard yourself right away. You you pull that wall up. And though it may be it may be for the best of your interest, it's gotten you to a point where perhaps you can even be a bit resistant with love. Uh, so what I mean by resistant is when we go from relationship to relationship and it just doesn't work out or they end up taking advantage of us or they end up lying and cheating, that type of energy, our defensive mechanism kicks in. So it's sometimes you go on this path, on this journey to self-realization and growth and you become so accustomed to being self-sufficient that you kind of feel like you don't really need anyone. Um, and that's that's good if it's in a positive sense. But if it's because you're resonating more with your shadow side, then that's that's not really good because you're protecting yourself. So basically you're pushing love out because of fear. And that's never a good thing. Um, with the eight of swords still feeling stuck or feeling like your love life, you know, your romance is not really moving forward. There hasn't been people that spark your interest, like that type of energy. But what they are saying here with the Ace of Swords and the Lover's card is that when you have this realization of understanding that not everyone is going to hurt you and that you can't be cynical when it comes to love because of circumstances, if deep down in your heart and in your soul, you're craving that connection. You're craving that emotional support. So what I'm saying is that you need to align yourself to what it is that you want. So what I mean by that is if you are looking for love and you're wanting romance, you can be sen sending out two different signals of I don't need anyone, um, I'm better off, but at the same time expecting some miracle to happen for love to come in. So what they're telling you is that Deep down inside, at some point in our lives, we all need um, connections, emotional connection. Why? Because it is essential for our self-growth to have someone to share our happiness, our joy, our, you know, even our difficulties. Um, so what I'm saying here is what Spirit is telling you here is that in order for you to be able to attract people that are more aligned to what it is that your ultimate goal is, you have to start with yourself. So aligning yourself and getting your 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 mind and your thoughts in order, meaning don't be sending out signals of, you know, um, you know, I don't need anyone, I'm self-sufficient, but then hoping that, you know, Mr. Perfect or Mrs. Right shows up. So what I'm saying is that declare to the universe, say out loud, you know, I'm ready to put the past behind me. I'm moving forward. And I ask my spirit guides to guide me uh, to open the doors for the right person to come along and to show me signs. You will uh, be shown the way. You do have the Ace of Swords here. So there's definitely a new beginning, a new burst of idea, perhaps a, a different approach to how, how you've been viewing love. And this is going to open the door for love and um, the manifestation of that connection that you're looking for, all right? So I'm going to be showing you here, we have the number 12 and 13. So this could resonate with the date, or this can also be a date of birth. Now I'm going to flip it, and we have the K. So this can resonate, this can be uh, the person that's coming in, or this can be uh, your initial, your, the letter that starts with your name, anything that resonates with the letter K, keep that in mind. And like I said, number 12 or 13. Now we have here the letter M. Okay, so like I said, these could be initials of the person that's coming in, or these can be initials uh, of yourself, or it may resonate. Um, for some of you guys, if you are in fact still dealing with an X, uh, this could be um, their initials as well. And like I said, keeping in mind that it is important to cut the cords to that that has been toxic for you. 
all right? You don't want to keep going in circles. You don't want to keep wasting your time. Now, we have 1949, 1981, and 1967. Those are years or birth years. Um, again, this can resonate or connect. Uh, maybe not now, but in the near future, all right? All right, so we have inspiration. A wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas are about to enter your aura. It is important that you trust your intuition at this time. Pay attention to the unusual thoughts that come to your mind and do not discount your imagination. Many wonderful ideas which have secured humanity were initially scuffed and ridiculed. We, your guardian angels, will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities for your life. Okay? So what Spirit is telling you is that they will be there. They will be guiding you. They have been guiding you. Pay attention to the signs. Your second card here is creativity. We, your angels, we are your angelic uh, messenger, sorry, are here to help you unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen for the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of your fears and apprehension and express the, the endless source of creativity that you possess have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true I'm sorry you guys it's really it's kind of dark i could barely see express your true essence is what they're saying so again it connects to what we're talking about here about you know, sometimes when we go through emotional turmoil or relationships that just don't continue working out for us, a lot of the times we become tainted. And it is important to learn the lessons. I think that the most difficult lessons in life are emotional lessons, which are relationships. And the reason for that is because within that lesson, there is growth to, to, to come out. There's growth at the end of the tunnel. And sometimes, unfortunately, we become so fearful of love that we don't even understand how much we're actually blocking love to come into our lives. So again, like I said, listen to your intuition and be guided by that. Now your next uh, moon cards is conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon and Capricorn. All right. So what they're saying here is, again, conclusions are within reach. Endings. So what this means is, for those of you guys that are still dealing with a situation from a past or ex-lover, now is the time to let go of that. It's time to move on. It's time to stop holding on to dead-end roads, basically. It's time for you to embrace new beginnings and to accept that the worst has happened. We are moving forward. The end of, of a tough cycle approaches. So you are at the cusp of the conclusion of this lesson and moving forward. Again, listen to your intuition and li listen to where you're being pulled or where you're being guided. Spirits are around you and they're trying to assist you and guide you um, to be able to renew or to be able to bring new love in. All right. I hope you guys enjoy this, my lovelies. Now let's go to set number two. Okay, my lovelies, for those of you guys that chose set number two with the flower, let's begin your reading. Now, your first card here is the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Karma card, okay, and the Knight, sorry, the King of Cups. 
All right. Okay, so I see you guys. Um, there was a situation with you that perhaps you were in a relationship or a friends with benefits type of situation as we do have the four of pentacles wanting to behold wanting to have but something happened along the lines where you or the partner that you were dealing with completely closed off so it could have been a situation where it was like an off and off and on again type of relationship where for some reason uh physicality was very like uh, most of the relationship itself was purely based on physical. So it could have been like a situation that started with like a one night stand. For others of you, it could have been that circumstances and situations led to physical connection, um, but there was still hope or desire to actually manifest a long-term relationship. Now, with the Queen of Pentacles, this could be you. You could be an Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, for others, it could be water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, although it doesn't have to be their, your sun or their sun sign, it could be their moon sign as well. But the way you were viewing the situation was from a practical aspect. So, like I said, there was something that was like that made you or you felt a connection and perhaps that's why you were loyal to them. But they were kind of like their head was up in the clouds. They weren't being completely honest or they weren't um, being very direct with what it is that they wanted from this relationship or this connection. Now with the karma card, I do see that this is something that's been happening or that has manifested in your life more than once. Uh, it could be relationships where you kind of hold on to the partner hoping that they will change their mind. Uh, but what Spirit is telling you is that when someone is telling you exactly what it is that they want or who they are, you have to take it for what it is. You cannot hope, you know, you cannot rely on hope to change a person. And what they're saying here is that with the karma card, there is a cycle that needs to be broken. Uh, whether it be you trying to save them, whether it be you uh, sitting there and hoping or even being loyal to a person without even being in a, re in a relationship with them kind of like taking on the wife role or the husband role without really having a title, without really having something that is substantially proving to you that they are wanting to have you in their future. Now, like I said, what Spirit is telling you here is that through this process, um, like I said, it, it's probably something that you've gone through on multiple occasions or perhaps with the same person. And what they're saying here is that when it comes to love, you often either either you're very quick to fall in love with the person without really knowing them or without really getting to know them. And in the initial stages, you put too much credit to that. So what I mean is kind of like falling more for the idea of who you want that person to be versus who they really are. Um, so this is something that needs to break. This is a cycle that needs to end uh, in order for you to be able to uh, pull or find a partner that is more ideal for you or that is best suited for you. Now, I do see the transformation coming um, and a new beginning as well with a person that could bring you the loyalty or the fidelity or the long term uh, relationship that you've been looking for, that you've been craving. But again, it's very important to break the ties of past patterns or behavior from the past, whether it be that you tend to be very possessive or very jealous, or like I said, that you fall in love very easily. Um, try when approaching love, it is very important for you to try to, to keep you know, be open, keep your heart and your mind open, but at the same time, try not to have such high expectations of people because when getting to know someone, it is important for the energy to flow organically without you daydreaming about marriage and stuff like that when you're into your second day. <laughs> so 
what they're saying is it's important to maintain a very grounded approach when it comes to love. And when it comes to your mind and your heart, it's very important to uh, understand if your mind and your heart align, then that's the best decision or the way you should move forward. When your heart and your mind are not aligned or constantly in, com in, a, in a state of confusion or they don't agree, your heart is telling you to hold on to a situation when your mind is telling you it's time to let go, when in that situation, it's very important to take the practical approach, which is to listen to your mind and not allow your heart to blind you, okay? Now, like I said, I do see an ending cycle and I do see a new beginning coming towards you and they're showing me almost like very bright and sunny. So it, it could be referring to uh, the middle end of July or beginning of August, uh, more than likely third week of July to the month of August, there's going to be new movement in regards to love for you guys. Now, we do have here um, the letter A. So this could be the initials of the person coming towards you, or this could resonate or connect with you in some shape, way, or form. Uh, the letter A and the letter W. Now, we do have here 1960 and 1990. So those are birth years that could connect or spirit is trying to bring some attention to you with these years. Uh, like I said, if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Um, when you meet this person or when this person comes along, it may resonate more with you then, okay? And we also have 18 and 22. So those are dates. They could be birth dates. These could be dates of the time frame of when you meet this person. So keep that in mind, okay? And like I said, we have the letter W and the letter A. Now, <clears throat> Spirit's messages for you is prayer. Dear Guardian Angel, to you I pray. When I'm fearful, help me remember the only love is that only love is real. When I'm lost, help me find my way. When I'm confused, help me to regain clarity. When I feel lonely, help me feel your loving presence. Where I perceive chaos, help me to see order. Thank you. So this is a prayer. Uh, the message here is faith. Faith is very connected to this reading. For some of you guys, it could be that at some point in your life, you have felt like you've kind of lost hope when it comes to love. And what Spirit is telling you is that it's very important whenever you feel that situation is difficult or you're having difficulty in any aspect of your life, it is important to call upon them because only then can they step forward and assist you, open doors for you, remove blockages, um, basically come into your life. And in order for them to do that, you're ha you have to be open hearted. So it's important to either do a prayer or declare out loud stating that you ask them for their assistance to step in and guide you through this process. All right. And the second, uh, the second um, oracle card is expression. Express how you feel clearly, lovingly and honestly without fear of judgment. Say it exactly like it is. All will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel. Trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concerned. And heal all concerns. Self-expression is liberating and healing. So for some of you guys, expression or communication has been very difficult. Uh, perhaps for some of you guys in the past, when you've tried to communicate or express your emotions, it's almost like a feeling like you've been hushed or perhaps you've been, they've made you feel like when you express your emotions, uh, there's not much credit to that. And what Spirit is telling you here is don't let that taint you. Speak up for yourself, stand up for yourself, and do not allow anyone to silence your voice. Now, your other two cards here with the moon cards is work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. So for some of you guys, um, it could be a water sign that's coming in. Um, but what they're saying here is work through your fears. Again, a lot of the times when we're in relationships that just haven't worked out 
or that we're constantly feeling like we have to fight for a relationship. It's almost like a that's just how we do it or how we approach the situation on a subconscious level. Perhaps for some of you guys, you hold on to relationships that from the very beginning are not good for you. And the reason for that is because you've been so accustomed to having to fight that a lot, oftentimes we're fighting for the idea of a relationship or the idea of the person versus who they really are. So again, work through your fears, whatever fears you may have in regards to relationships, whether it's the fear of feeling like you, in order for you to be happy, you have to keep fighting, uh, fighting for a relationship or holding on or not giving up. A lot of the times it's better or it takes more courage to walk away from a, a relationship. Sorry, it takes more courage to hold on to a relationship that is not working than to walk away from it. So perhaps that approach is something that you guys really need to think about. Now, your other card here is meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So tuning into your subconscious, being able to either do prayer uh, as they spoke about it here. For others of you, it could just symbolize that there is a process in order for you to overcome the obstacles on a subconscious level. And this can only be done through either self-hypnosis um, either meditation, any approach that can allow you to tune in to who you truly are and to your higher self. So I would highly encourage you guys to do meditation or like I said, self-hypnosis type, um, uh, type of meditations that can help you overcome those fears and obstacles, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now let's go to set number three. At least those of you guys that chose set number three with the star and the moon, Let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Now we have the Page of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, I see what's going on here. The Justice card, the Wheel of the Year, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So what they're saying here is with the Page of Swords, someone is definitely looking into a partner, whether this is you looking at your ex or whether it's your ex looking at your social medias, looking at what's going on in your life or just stalking basically. Um, now what they're saying here is that those of you guys that show set number three, perhaps you were in a situation where... Um, Someone was tired of putting in effort or work. So you could have been in a relationship or in a situation, <laughs> situationship um, where often you found yourself putting too much effort or trying the very hard to fix the relationship or the quote unquote uh, connection you had with a, with a specific person. Now, the Nine of Wands speaks about standing your ground, but it also speaks about just being extremely exhausted and tired of putting effort uh, without seeing the rewards of this situation. So it could have been that you're still dealing with an ex or uh, that there was an ending or a conclusion um, and, you know, often finding yourself or feeling like you haven't been vindicated. Uh, for some of you guys, it could have been a situation where it was the partner that walked away and for others, especially those of you guys that are cross-watching, uh, as an example, if you are in a relationship and you're looking at this video and you happen to choose set number three, it could be that you got into a relationship knowing about a specific person uh, in your partner's life and it could be you the one that's stalking. But ultimately what Spirit is saying here is that if you were whether you were cheated or mistreated or whether the partner walked away from a relationship and you were left feeling like all the effort and energy that you put into this relationship was for nothing. Um, for some of you guys, you may still be dealing with the anger. For others of you, you may still be dealing with the frustration of, you know, how can this person have hurt me yet they're living their best life and here I am not being able to find love. What Spirit is telling you is the moment you stop worrying about that other person is the moment that you start watering your own grass. And when you do that, only then will you be able to see, because the Justice card does symbolize here, 
whether you feel like you were taken for granted or whether you feel like you were done wrong and perhaps even feeling some type of emotion, anger, wanting to, you know, get revenge, wanting to, you know, basically see them eat shit, whatever the situation may be. What Spirit is telling you is karma is not your concern. Whatever they did to you, they will have that coming. Trust and believe. Know what Spirit is telling you here right now. I'm not messing around. Whatever their karma is, that's none of your concern. You worry about your life. You water your own grass. You move on. The moment you start focusing on your life and reliving again, or the moment you start focusing on self-love, and stop concerning yourself about that person and what they're doing. Um, only then will you be able to not only be able to see your life completely transform, but also you will see them deal with their own karma. I hope that makes sense. I feel a lot of tension in this reading. I feel like for some of you guys, this is something that you've been dealing with for a very long time. It could even be like, as an example, a situation where you were married for 10 plus years and all of a sudden, um, either they were the ones to completely cut you off or ask for a divorce, whatever the situation was. And there was still hope there, but anger as well, that they would come back, that they would realize what they lost. But what Spirit is telling you here is that stop living in the past. Stop putting your life on hold for a person that does not deserve you. They will get what's coming to them. But let Spirit handle that. Let them deal with that. You worry and focus in yourself and in living and moving forward. Only then are you going to be able to embra embrace new love when you're healing yourself. If you often find yourself going from one person to another only to try to convince yourself or others that you've moved on, you know deep down inside that's not what you really want. You want to be loved. You want to be appreciated. You want to be understood. You want to be seen. And it's okay to want those things. But you're not going to be able to attract a person that has that type of mentality or that type of heart if you're still reliving the past or if you're still being stuck to the past or if you're still stalking the person, your ex-partner, only to make your life more miserable. What Spirit is telling you is let go of all of that. All of that is non-important. Because your primary focus here is the nine of wands and the wheel of the year. Stand up for yourself. Know your self-worth. Love yourself enough to walk away. Because, not because of anything other than because you deserve to be happy. Don't be scared to go out there and put yourself out there to find love. There's no shame in that. There's no shame in moving on. There's no shame in being scared to move on. But it's necessary. And with the wheel of the year, Spirit is telling you, you have all of the potential. You have all of the tools. The moment you pull away from the past, the moment you stop reliving the past, only then will you be able to walk towards certainty. The page of pentacles is a process. Pentacles is always a process. It's not easy, but it's promised victory. And with the Page of Pentacles, it's, take, it's taking those steps. Taking the steps to move on. From the Page, you go to the Knight. Much more mature energy. You're ready. From the Knight, you go to the King or Queen. You're mature. You're ready to start a relationship. But you got to make the move. All right? All right, my lovelies. Now... You have the letter G and the letter X. 
So these could be initials or these could be letters that represent the person that's coming in. This could represent you or this could represent the partner, the ex-partner. Oh, it's funny. We have an ex. So it could be the ex. Let go of that. Now your next numbers is the six and nine. These could be dates. These could also be date of births and 12 and 25. This may not resonate with you now, but it will resonate with you in some um, aspect uh, through the end of this month. Now your angel cards here is positive change. Dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. Very strong message here. Very strong message. And it is very true. All the great ones throughout history have always been judged of being crazy, of being different, of, you know, having even <laughs> mental issues. And it just means that they were ahead of their time. It just means that they found a different way to express themselves, that they found a niche, that they found something that they were being called or very natural at doing, and it was very different. Being different is courageous. Remember that. You also have the balance card. Difference is necessary part of human evolution and everything in life is compromised of opposites, which together make life whole. If you light a candle in a room already flooded with light, the light of your candle would be indistinguishable from the light which already exists because of darkness. We are able to perceive light both are necessary let go of the past let go of what has not worked for you in the past start something new pick up a new creative outlook express your feelings and emotions find a new hobby anything that ignites your passion your desire not just in love but in life only when we're passionate, when we're creative, when we are connected to source, is when we are elevated. And in doing that is when you meet more people. It's when you're being pulled towards specific individuals that are aligned the same way you are. Now your moon card here is believe in the impossible, blue moon. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So what you're what they're telling you here is be imagine, uh, imaginative tap into that your creative outlook perhaps for some of you guys you are natural at this and perhaps you kind of forgot about it because of the drama you were dealing with and what they're telling you is if you're being pulled towards that to self express or to let go of that animosity or that hurt that you've been carrying, do that. It may open up new doors for you, not only in love, but in finances, to be reignited, to be passionate again about life. Believe in the impossible. Anything is possible. Balance spirituality and practicality. When you're able to balance your spiritual side as well as the practical side, meaning here in, in, in the, you know, in the, in the practical or in the earthly plane, when you are able to balance those two things, nothing is impossible. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of clarity and insight. And we're going to go to set number four. Okay, my lovelies, those of you guys that chose set number four, let's begin your reading. Let's see what spirit, whoops, wrong one. <laughs> let's see what spirit has for you guys. Ooh. You guys are most definitely ready for love. <laughs> okay. 
Beautiful cards, my lovelies. Beautiful cards. All right. Give me one second because I've been doing readings all day. And my voice is kind of going. Okay. We have here the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Hermit card. So... In general, what Spirit is saying is that love is surrounding you. Love is currently all around you, whether you see it um, in a practical sense or on a subconscious level. You are feeling like you're ready or you're feeling like perhaps you do deserve love. Perhaps you do deserve happiness. You're starting to question, you know, doubts that you've had for a while for some of you guys, you've been single for quite a while. Perhaps you got to the point of comfortability. You got to the point of saying, you know what? If I don't find love, that's okay. I'm good with that because you know what? I'm doing good. I don't want my life more complicated. <laughs> and perhaps you convinced yourself of believing in that. But lately, you've been wondering how it feels or how it will feel when a new person comes into your life or when you're able and ready to open your heart. So what they're saying here is that you are most definitely ready. You've been through difficult situations, but you're still holding on to hope. With the Nine of Cups, emotion of fulfillment is around you. For some of you guys, you could be listening to guided meditations. For others of you, you've been practicing the law of attraction for others of you, perhaps even spell work bringing you love in. The Nine of Cups is all about emotional fulfillment. It's about being able to see the desire being manifested. It's about being grateful and feeling abundant. With the Queen of Cups, you may be dealing with a water energy that's coming in, a Virgo energy that's coming in, an Aries type of energy that's coming in as well, or this could be your signs. But with the Queen of Cups, this is you being open. Your heart is ready. You're open. You've been single for quite a while, Four of Swords. You've been at standstill. You've been working on yourself. You've been healing yourself. For some of you guys, you've been currently going through a spiritual journey. But the Four of Swords is here to tell you there is no need to repose. There is no need to be at standstill no more. It's almost as the hanged man is being presented in the reverse. The hanged man is all about stepping back, being able to see things from a different perspective, taking some time off to self-analyze. But when it comes up in reverse, it's time to take action. It's time to step away from thoughtful or analyzing ideas, and it's time to take action. The Four of Swords is representing here a time of repose, but it's almost, like I said, almost the representation of the hanged man in reverse. It's time to move on. It's time to accept, yes, you do deserve to be happy. Yes, you do deserve to find love. Everyone does. You are only limiting yourself by your self-beliefs. Like I said, for some of you guys, perhaps you've gotten into trying to teach your subconscious mind to remove certain blockages that were taught to you. Or that you've convinced yourself throughout time and throughout experience. And you're trying to shake that off. You're trying to acknowledge and accept, I do deserve to be happy. I do deserve to find the person that is right for me. I do not need to settle for anything less than what my heart wants. And you're absolutely right. The eight of pentacles, you've put in that work. You've put in that effort. For some of you guys, self-loving was something very important for you guys in the past few months or in the past few years. The magician, you have all of the ingredients, all of the tools, all of the potential. Your energy is high. You are vibrating love. You're putting love out into the universe. The hermit card could represent potentially a Virgo, but it can also represent you found the love in yourself. Perhaps some of you guys You've been single for quite a while, but you've been focusing on yourself. Now, when I say self and self-love, I don't necessarily mean spiritual awakenings. For some of you guys, it could be that you've put yourself and all your heart-earned energy into work because you're trying to achieve, you're trying to, you know, create 
You're trying to stabilize whatever it is that you want. So you've been putting all that effort and all that energy towards that. For others of you, it could be a practice, something that you've been really trying to, you know, build a business, finances, growth. And the hermit here is a representation of, yes, I've been focusing and self-analyzing at the same time. I haven't been rushing into love. I've been working on myself and my goals. And the magician is here to tell you, you're ready and the universe is ready to bring in that love, to bring in that new beginning for you. You deserve it. Accept it. Very strong message here. Very strong message. Don't be scared to fall in love. You deserve it. Now they are talking to me about the month of August. That could be when the manifestation happens. When the person comes in. This is new energy. This is not dealing with no exes. This is not thinking about exes or anything like that. What Spirit is telling you is be ready. Be ready because that energy that you've been putting out to the universe is echoing back and it's coming for you. <laughs> All right, my lovelies. Now your cards here, uh, four names, you have the H and the D. Now these could be um, initials for yourself or the partner that's coming in. All right, it may not resonate right now. You can always come back and look at this video again. It will resonate at some point by the end of June, beginning of July. Now we also have numbers in the back. We have eight and 11. These are dates. It could be date of births. Uh, it could represent uh, the date of when this person is coming in. They did speak about August. This could be August 11th. And we have 17 and 20. These are numbers that can connect. It could be, they could show up in many different ways. License plates, uh, apartment number, um, the address of wherever it is that you meet this person. <laughs> Pay attention to these, okay? Like I said, letters H and D. Now let's see what your spirit's messages are here. We have compassion, dearest one. Be compassionate towards yourself. Surrender the self-criticism and fear that has you believing you need to improve in order to be worthy. You are perfect just as you are. The only thing that needs to change is your perception. You will come to realize the jewel you are when you love and honor yourself as you are. Beautiful card. It speaks to me about self-love, the importance of, of valuing and knowing your self-worth. And I think that that's exactly what they were speaking about in this reading. Now, you also have peace. Calm your thoughts and, and move your awareness to a peaceful uh, space inside your heart. Feel the ebb and flow of love, the eternal movement of the stars. I'm laughing because it's speaking about love, and that's exactly the energy that I felt in this reading. Your, li uh, your life is forever unfolding to greater spheres of love. Relax and do not worry about anything, for all is well. You will soon enter a time of well-earned peace and tranquility. Beautiful cards, you guys. You guys are ready. <laughs> all right, your moon cards here is you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo, a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. We did speak about Virgos. Uh, this could be your energy or this could be the energy that's coming in. And it's a win-win outcome, meaning you are good enough self-love, knowing your worth, knowing not to settle, and understanding that you have every single right to know exactly what it is that you want and to know exactly what it is that you deserve. When you have such crystallized 
knowing an idea of what you want, it will unfold. That easy. Now, it hasn't been easy for you. But when you come to this understanding, the universe will echo back exactly what you put out. A win-win outcome. Balance. Peace. Love. Love is in the air for you, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you clarity and insight. I hope that you're able to see the manifestations of your true happiness. And remember, when we go through difficult difficulties, only then are we able to appreciate the good moments in our lives. I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see each other soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.